upcoming. Yeah, I'm gonna use... No, I'm not gonna use the pencil. It depends on what you exactly want, um, and I can say for you, like, what do you need? What's happening guys, my name is LTAJ Official and I'm glad that you are watching to a brand new video on Alex's channel. I'm back at Alex's place, I uh, managed to, to get some time, go to Alex's place to record a video for him. In this week's uh, illustrated tutorial, I'm gonna let you guys see how you can make some 3D letters. If you have, uh, if you are making like a building or something, how you can make it in 3D very easily. In Illustrator of course, I think that's it. And let's sing. Let's jump right into it. So once you're in Illustrator, you're going to open like always a new file. In your sidebar, you're gonna choose Perspective Grid Tool. You can also choose your Perspective Selection Tool, but I rather use the Perspective Grid Tool. Shortcut for that is Shift P. So once you've clicked that, you have like a nice grid. If you want to draw like like an like an like a ladder like fat ladder in 3d it's possible i'm gonna show it real quickly so i'm gonna zoom in a little bit with control plus i'm gonna take my pen i also can use uh like a like a blob brush tool or a pencil no i'm not gonna use the pencil um i'm just gonna click so i'm gonna start in the middle i'm gonna go to the back you can go further but i'm gonna show it on the grid that um on the, if, if you stay on the grid it's pretty much easier to well make like a nice 3d effect um, i'm gonna go for high gonna go a few back in and then i'm going to go back up for a few things i'm gonna make the letter s gonna make sure that i'm on the same is it on the same note like that few high back to the end and back up to the top of your grid then you're going to click here but you have, you can figure it out. You can look up like a 3D picture and um, try something else. You're gonna, you can make, you make, you can make a lot of, of of letters. I can make a P. I can make an H. I can make everything. Um, an A is pretty much, or I think an A is is pretty hard to make. Um, I can make a P or something. A P isn't that hard actually. Something like, wait, I'm gonna go to the back think something like this and then going back here and here like that but then you have to fill in the area beneath here with black but i'm gonna show you something else real quickly um what's important too what you also can do is if you want other perspectives you can try and drag these things you can try and make like an like a nice view of your perspective if you want to have that you're in front of it a little bit 3d you can make it like this i can make like a little big a little bit to the back if you can see if i sit, set it like this i'm straight in for like i'm in front of my object and if i go like this i'm like more to the side of it if you know what i mean you can also go upwards and downwards if you can see, like this and on the same level but i think it's easier to use it a little bit like downwards i shouldn't use this one and uh, most of the time i just let it be where it is because um it's it's like you have like a nice view on your on your um 3d thing so <laughs> so that's a very easy way what you also can do is um you can make your letter higher or smaller it depends on what you ex 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 it depends on what you exactly want um and i can say for you like what do you need these are just just screw around with like little uh balls in it like yeah you can see just screw around with it and i will surely find something you like with these settings like this it's possible you know a little bit more like this maybe if you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's very easy to do actually so like you saw just there i just clicked it away like if you make something and you you want to lose a grid just click on the arrow and it's gone as easy as it gets so yeah that, that's one easy way to do it you can also use like a, an image from google rewriting it like 
making a pen tool over it i think this is just easier if you want to do it like you don't want to search a picture on google just use your grid perspective tool it's very easy so yeah that was the video for this week i hope you learn something from it if you wanted to make like a 3d effect on on letters or something make sure to subscribe on alex's channel for daily content um not always tutorials but most of the time it's tutorials so make sure to subscribe on alex's channel make sure to subscribe on my channel links will be in the description and I'll, i will see you next week because yeah i have one video a week so yeah i say peace because I don't like something, that's part of the gig. But the bad thing is that one of them is gonna taste like absolute shit. Content from my channel, so. 50, 60 comments on that video, and now 3,000, like three and a half thousand subscribers later because I'm, I just passed over 5,500 subscribers. Let's get started. My name is LTHH again. Uh, uh, my name is Ajigan.